How's it going everyone? It's Jeremy Dwayne here and this is going to be a review of the Monoprice 600801 USB condenser microphone. Uh, it's a very interesting name and the reason why I'm doing this review is because I've had quite a few microphones over the years. So I have this microphone which is the MXL uh, .009 which is a huge silver dildo and then I have the Audio Technica ATH uh, or AT2020 USB condenser microphone. So these are three different USB microphones. But I'm recording this entire first bit using the new Monoprice microphone. And the reason why I'm going to switch to this microphone is because it has a very high quality sound for a very inexpensive price. I would compare it to the MXL microphone very closely. The sound quality is pretty much on par with this. And this is a $300 microphone. This is a $100 microphone. You can get the XLR version of this microphone for like 80 bucks. This was $95 on sale. It's normally like 90, 98 or something like that. Still a decent deal. The AT2020, this is like the staple back in the day. I don't know what, I don't know if people still use this. But the AT2020 was like the go-to microphone. The reason why I stopped using this one is because it picks up all of the background noise. This microphone picks up practically no background noise. Here's some silence. I have a PC to my right and a mini fridge over there. With this microphone you will hear both. Here's a quick recording using the MXL microphone. Silence. The only thing that I have changed settings wise is in Windows for the volume settings I turn it down to 30 which is like the levels uh, and that's it. Uh, with this one I normally have it at 20 and it still picks up background noise. This is at 30 with no background noise. Um, this one, I think I like crank it down to like six and it still picks up background noise. Here's a quick recording using the Audio-Technica AT2020 USB microphone and some silence. Anyways, I kind of goofed with the the b-roll that you're seeing in the corner um, I recorded the first little bits not in the correct video mode so it was like 30 FPS instead of 60 and the focus was all bad so I'm just having it kind of off in the corner here are my thoughts it comes with a nice little desk stand I wouldn't recommend using that I would get a boom arm uh, Rode makes a pretty decent boom arm, but it's kind of expensive. You can get a cheap boom arm for like 20 bucks on Amazon or eBay. Uh, I'm using the Heil PLT or PL2T boom arm. It's a pretty nice boom arm, except it makes a lot of noise. Um, there it is. You hear that? So if you overextend it, it will make a lot of noise. So it's, it's not the greatest. Comes with a three meter long USB cable. I'm not currently using it because I already had a USB cable plugged in, but I will switch over to it because the one that I have right now is a little short for my setup. Uh, this, this piece here is plastic. So it's not extremely sturdy. Um, I, and that's mainly why I would recommend getting a shock mount and a boom arm. You could even just get a shock mount and use the built-in uh, desk stand if you really wanted to. This is the MXL small shock mount. I'll put links to it in the description. And this is the Samson shock mount. It'll fit this one too. You can get both of these off of Amazon. I think they're like 20 to 30 dollars 
definitely worth it. This one, it's huge and it's annoying. This one's nice and small. You can see how small it is. And uh, it's holding up the mic just fine, so I would go with the small one if you can afford it. But this one's cheap and like everyone uses it. So I already had those. Um, the huge dildo mic needed the, the big one, that's why I continued to use it. Um, and then on here I have, it's a, it's a windscreen from MXL. Uh, I'm using that because I like the way that it looks. It's just a big fuzz, big foam windscreen. And I can just, don't have to worry about plosives or S, you know, slurs. I can just, I can just talk. And it's great for, for live streaming because of that. Because I, I normally put my mic up when I'm like eating or something so I don't like chew in it. And so when I bring it back, it's not always in the right spot. So it's it's nice to have kind of omnidirectional protection. But with this mic, it's got, it's hard to see, but um, you can kind of see it with, with the Audio-Technica. There's like a circle in there. You can kind of see it. It's the same uh, same way with this. And uh, it's the same way with the MXL. You can kind of see it in there. There's a circle. It's not an omnidirectional mic. You have to talk into the microphone, uh, the front-facing part. If you talk into the back, it's not going to pick up your voice very well. So I'm talking into the back of the microphone right now. And this does not sound very good so moral of the story this microphone is highly recommended by myself get it if you have the hundred bucks um, I ordered it directly off of mono price they had free shipping on orders over 50 uh, other than that have an awesome day and we'll see you next time take her easy